Oh, level two something. Growling. It's a level two growler. I say we back away. Back away. Back away into the level two bear. This I'm telling you, this is like a preserve for bears and wolves. And I don't know how how I got stuck in here. Uh do you mind? Nature calls. <laughs> Welcome to subsistence, my friends. This is yet another open world survival sandbox game uh, on Steam. Steam Early Access. Hold on, let me open up this box. Got to hold down the key here. Bam! What do we got? We got handcuffs. Great. Oh, scrap metal. I need that. Grab those and the circuit boards and the planks. But I need food. Dang it, I'm dying of starvation here. We'll be soon. Uh, in fact, how do I get my... There we go. Oh, proteins. I gotta watch your proteins in this game. You got fruits and veggies. You got some hydration. And that's overall hunger. Yeah, very, very nice. So, yeah, this is Subsistence. And it's on uh, Steam Early Access. It's been out since, like, October of 2016. And I did take notice of the game way back when, but... For whatever reason, I just never gave it a shot and shared it here on the channel. Until now. And I think this is not going to be a very long run because I am hungry and i got to find some food. Hopefully there's something in this box. So we're in some kind of a wildlife preserve. Oh, what is that? Is that honey? Oh, can I eat that? It's, uh, oh, it's biofuel. Yeah, do not drink the biofuel. <laughs> that seems like it would be a really bad idea. Oh, there's a bear. Oh, oh, I'm dying. I am malnourished. Oh, gosh. Uh, okay. Can I fish? I don't think I can fish either. Oh, this is not going to end well for us. Let's find some food. I found berries once, but I'm not sure exactly where I found them. I just had one in my inventory. So the game is, uh, oh, oh, chicken, come here! Chicken! Oh, I'm eat, I'm eat you. I'm gonna eat you, chicken. <laughs> oh, he's so fast, but can he outrun my bullet? Got him! What? He took, he's still going! Oh, man. Okay. It looks like it's quietens for us, my friends. Uh, let's just click on everything and try to get some food. There comes a wolf. A wolf. Wolf, please end it for me. Wolf, hey. I only have one bullet. You start with an axe, a handgun with one bullet, and a light stick. This is pretty cool. Let me see. What can I do? Oh, you just hold it. You can't even throw it. All right. Yeah. Well, um, sorry, guys. I had been playing for a little while. I thought maybe starting... I thought starting later would have been better. Because I would have already had a bunch of uh, materials to start building up the base and stuff, right? Oh, apple! Ooh, eat that apple. Eat it, eat it good. Eat two of them. Oh, baby. We might make it after all. Okay. Whew. Feel much better. But that's not going to last long now, is it? we got to kill that dang chicken. And there goes my one bullet for defense. All right, where's that wounded chicken? What level are you guys? <laughs> so the animals actually level up. Like, check out this wolf. What level are you, wolf? He's level, it looks like a level three. So, yeah, there's no zombies or mutants in this game. It's purely wilderness survival. It's us against the elements and the environment, against the animals. And obviously, I have to, um, got to eat and drink and stay nourished. And you have to actually eat, like, proteins. And you got to get your carbs and your fibers so you can be regular. Uh, that sort of thing. Now, apparently, once we build a base then NPCs will start building up bases on, on the world and attack us and start to raid our base. So ultimately... Whoa, bear! Ultimately, this is a game about base raiding and not about primitive survival. Oh. Whew. I pooped my pants. <laughs> uh, I don't have much to poop, though. That's the good thing. It's not going to be difficult to clean these pants. Um, man, we gotta find some more food. And I don't even know if food grows in the game yet because it's so early in development. We do have, like, ores that you can mine, but we have to make a pickaxe for that, and we're not even... We're not even close. Oh, I can make a pickaxe, but we don't want to do that yet. What we want to do is make a base command unit. Let's do this right now before I die. Allows advanced build options. Must be placed on a base wall. Oh, I should have made a wall first. Uh, we can make planks. Planks are easy to do. Let's go make our planks. That's under the hammer right here. And we'll just queue up a bunch of planks. So yeah, you get you start with an axe and you can chop down wood. We'll chop down trees for wood. And they're flying at you. Watch out. Here they come. Now it looks like that's going right into your backpack, right? It ain't. Right on the ground. So make sure you look down and snatch them up. Pretty hard to see here too. Yeah, it looks like it's getting dark. It's not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. 
There's temperature to worry about too. Whoa, bear. Uh, what level is that bear? It's a big one. Level two. So yeah, you have to worry about the temperature as well. And I think the temps might actually go down at night. Like real life. Oh, box. Please be some food. Oh, my command unit has been built. Oh, there is. Is that bacon? It's not bacon. That's leather. All right, don't eat the leather. Although people have eaten their shoes when they're dying, right? It's cloth. Okay. What is this thing? It's feathers. All right. Could probably make arrows with that eventually, right? Oh, here's... Oh, I had berries. You guys are probably raging at me. Saying, dude, you got berries right there in your inventory. See, that's the thing. I don't know where they came from. I think I just get them randomly when I pick up, like, fibers from the fibrous plants. But anywho, let's make up this uh, base. So this is where it all begins, right here. So we need a wood wall. Oh, I'm probably going to need a foundation first, right? Ah, cancel that. Um, let's make the foundation first. Because then the wall will be much easier to make. Oh, we still need nails? Ay, ay, ay. All right. This is going to be longer than I had expected. Oh, please be some nails. I don't know if these crates are going to be in the game when it's completed. Just bullets and casings and things. But uh, they sure are helpful right now. Oh, oh level 2 something. Growling. It's a level 2 growler. I say we back away. Back away. Back away into the level 2 bear. This I'm telling you, this is like a preserve for bears and wolves. And I don't know how, how I got stuck in here. Oh gosh, now I'm too cold. Staying warm, light a fire. Descend in altitude. Oh, I can descend in altitude too, no kidding. All right, well, let's make a fire. I did see that here, and that's easy enough. We get sticks and wood. And we'll put a fire down right here. And I'll put my foundation down as well. Um, I think death is like permanent, and you, you know, you die and you lose everything, so I'm not sure I really want to do this. How do I get over there? Put it down. Well, now I'm sawing it, hammering it, and how do I light it? Hit E to open. Oh, you're kidding. Cook. Fuel. Ignite. Fuel. Ignition source. Matches. Ignition. Ignite. We did it. Woo. And I've got nothing to cook, unfortunately. But maybe we can, uh, we can kill us a chicken later. All right, well, we're making progress here. Let's get this base foundation down. And like I said earlier, at least I think I did, if you, once you build a base, that's when the AI, the enemies, the humans on the map start joining in the game and building their own bases, and then they will attack us. So I'm wondering if the fire will keep the predatory animals at bay. In real life, it usually does. <laughs> So I'm hoping this model's real life in that respect. But I feel nice and cozy here by the fire, that's for sure. Oh, I have ammo. I can reload my pistol. I had 9mm rounds right here. So it looks like it holds 7. We've got a few extras. Great, so we can defend ourselves through the night in case we do get attacked by a grizz or a wolf. So we'll just wait right here until the sun comes up. I don't know how long that's going to take. So, by the way, the map is hand-designed. It's not a procedural map. At least not this one during the early access. And I don't know if procedural maps are something that uh, the developer has planned in the future. That's something we'll just have to keep an eye on. Oh, yeah. That sun feels so good on my skin right now. So, sun is on the rise. I suppose that's the east. That must be east over there. Let's, let's extinguish this fire. And let's go collect what we need to make our, um, we need to make a wall, right? So we need three nails. That's it. All right, great. Now, it looks like there's a box over here. Let's go check out that crate. So the AI humans are actually called hunters, and you can enable or disable them. Well, well to call. What do you mean, to call? The sun's up. Man, I wish I had a shirt at least. I think we got everything now, right? Wood wall. Yes. Slap that thing together. Okay, just a minute or so, and we'll get this uh, command unit up on the wall, and then maybe we'll run into some of these AI hunters, as they're known. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. Let's put a wall right here. Crank that up. And now, the unit. And we just stick that in here. 
Oh, we're bases online. Look at that. Isn't that excellent? So what does it all mean? Base command unit, PSJR's base. Uh, I guess this thing actually provides power to the base. And mass. Huh. Okay, well, I'm not an electrician, so I don't really know what all these numbers mean, but uh, I'm sure somebody in the comments will be kind enough to let me know. And it looks like we can give access to our home to other players when multiplayer is added. But check this out. We can make lights, wood burners, refinery, a bed. Wow. Lots of materials. A generator. Okay. Very cool. I think what we're going to do... What? Uh, in the next few days, hunters will start moving into the world. There they are. That's the dude. Well, then we better get moving. <laughs> we got to make a base. I have a floor and a wall. We're gonna need more than that. We want a nice secure base. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is just run around and collect as many materials as possible. Um, I'd like to get a farm here and start growing some crops. Looks like I have the materials to make more nine millimeter rounds. So why don't we do that? It's the only gun I have, so we might as well use all the resources we have for these nine mils, right? Okay, now I think we're going to go hunting because we can shoot some chickenses and rabbitses and cook them up on our fire to get some protein, right? I think we ought to do that. Now, what is this? What is this? Looks like scrap metal. And another crate. So these crates apparently are just um, dropped in the map randomly when you, when you join the game. You can shoot the rabbits and the chickens with a bow. And we'll use a 9mm for home defense. For when the AI comes after us, or if a, uh, a bear or a wolf decides to come by and visit. And they will attack your base, apparently. Alright, we can craft a bow! Woohoo! Now, what about arrows? It must be under ammunition. We need more sticks. And nails for arrows? Oh, dude. Come on, man. I need nails for building. Alright, let's whip up, um, let's whip up one arrow. Hopefully it's more than one. Maybe it's one dozen arrows. <laughs> we'll see. And if it's just one, I hope it's reusable. And it doesn't degrade. Alright, arrows. Two arrows. Oh, 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 oh. I hear a chicken. There he goes. Oh, look at him run. And there's no reticle. So I have no idea where this arrow is going to end up. <laughs> there he is. Okay, I've got to put him right in the center of the screen. And pull the trigger. And I don't know if I hit him. I hit something. Oh, please tell me I get my arrow back. Maybe I hit him? Oh, that was way low. I saw where that one hit. Oh, you can retrieve arrows. Oh, bear. Easy bear. Oh, hi, bear. Oh, that one right there, level one. Oh, I could probably kill him. Oh, he's coming right at us. Slowly. Dude, go a different direction. All right, we got a chicken. We got we got him this time. I'll raise the bow up a little bit. Yo, we cut him good. One shot, one kill, and oh, oh no, my arrow is gone. So we don't get the arrow back if you get a hit. Not liking that. All right, let's go cook this thing up. Do we get we get some meat? Level zero chicken meat can't be domesticated. We'll lay one egg for each level after level two. Hmm, I don't know how to tame them or capture them, but that's something you definitely want to think about for uh, long-term food production, right? All right, let's get this thing going again. So here's my fire starting kit. There's fuel in there right now. Um, I suppose it doesn't hurt to add a little bit more. Oh, all of it! Did it just literally took that whole stack of wood? And we'll put the chicken... Oh, no. Cook it. Oh, I gotta butcher it first? Oh, okay. You just can't cook it whole. You gotta get a cutlet. Chicken cutlet. All right. Okay, so now we're down to two arrows. So we're gonna need more arrows. And I'm also gonna need more wood now that I put it all on the fire. Does this tree grow back? Oh, it did. Ooh, that smells delicious. I better go check it, make sure it's not burned. Okay, I don't know how long that takes to cook, but it still looks raw, and you don't want to eat raw chicken. That's for sure. You might get salmonella. Oh! Oh, it looks done. All right, kill the fire. Oh, I should have left the fire burn. Nah, eh, whatever. All right, look at that. Cooked. Low-grade chicken. Low quality. Oh, I don't care. 
Let's see what it does. Adding some proteins. Filling up our belly a little bit. All right, well, it certainly was low quality, but then again, I'm not the best cook. Oh, guys, we have full power here. Look at this, 500, 500, and 100 mass. Oh, so it is solar. It just took a while for it to fill up. So it must have a battery, but now we can fuel a small power generator and get this guy going. We just need one more scrap and one more wooden plank. Ooh, but we really should focus on, um, on getting walls up first. So check this out. We can even have a refrigerator down the road. So, we're, I mean, we're living here hand to mouth, day by day, hour by hour almost. And uh, pretty soon we'll have a base with power and refrigeration. That'll be pretty sweet. But we still have to worry about the AI raiders. I don't know when they're going to come. And by the way, the cotton has to be grown. We have to find cotton seeds in crates. At least right now, anyway, during the uh, this stage of the early access. My guess is down the road we'll find cotton plants. And yeah, we can get seeds that way. And also cotton from them. Yeah, I don't see any AI around, huh? I wonder how long it takes for them to build up and come and attack me. Well, sun's going down, and we're going to have another 5 or 10 minute night time ahead of us. So I think what I'm going to go do is get a fire going, sit by the fire, get through the night, and then I'll pick up in the morning. And I'm not sure if we're going to continue with this episode or just do another follow-up episode because it's getting kind of long, he thinks. I still do want to see those hunters, though. All right, guys. I found tomato seeds and cotton seeds in crates so as I had mentioned at least I think I did my guess is those will be found on uh, well in the wild on real plants rather than in crates down the road but right now there are no cotton plants or tomato plants or apple trees so oh wabbit hello widow bunny wabbit oh oh bear hi bear <laughs> good bear is this your little pal all right, down, get down, get down, down on all fours. We can be friends. Oh no, it's going right toward my base. That's not cool. All right, let's go get this wabbit. I think he ran up this hill. And yeah, it's definitely colder up here than it is down in the valley. So I think we're gonna move uh, move our whole base down there where it's a little warmer. And I'm gonna try to plant these. Um, I'm gonna plant these seeds. Where'd that rabbit go? Well, then let's whip up another wall. So check this out. You can do doorways, window walls, half walls, quarter walls, curved and curved window walls. Let's just do a, um, let's just make a doorway wall. Oh, wh what's up? I just moved in. Can we, can we share this location? Can we be friends? This might be his game trail right here. It's a rather large game trail. <laughs> Maybe he was hunting that rabbit. I don't know. Oh, boy. And, of course, I'm hungry again. But look at my hydration. It's only halfway down. I haven't taken a sip since I started this this game. So, yeah, once again, the developers have it backwards. I've got to eat every three minutes. But I don't have to drink for days. That's not how it works in real life. Oh, see, look at that. I have so much water. I don't want the water. I need food. Let's put the door here. There we go. All right. We need two more walls and a roof. And we'll be good to go. Oh, and a door. Oh, we got a bunny wabbit. Do I have to lead him? Oh, I did have to lead him, but he stopped moving. <laughs> anyway, so I'm out looking for these hunters. Haven't found any yet, but I did find a body of water. And this was just added in the last update. So apparently there's kelp down here that we can use. Oh, here it is. Is that cool? Yes. Ooh, can we eat it? I'm wondering if... Oh, oh gosh, I'm malnourished. Hold on. I hope we can eat some kelp. Oh, oh, get up. Oh, 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 out of the water. Oh, we can eat the kelp. Ooh, lovely. All right, well, that's obviously a lot of vegetation. But at least we're not dying of hunger any longer. All right, and I guess sooner or later there's going to be some kind of hostile animals in the water. Crocodiles, alligators, pythons, electric eels, I don't know. Well, guys, I'm still looking for AI hunters, and I have not found them. So my guess is they're not here yet. 
Maybe they, uh, maybe they take a couple of days to show up after you build your own base. When you place that command center thing, Bob. Yeah, that must be it. You know what? Eat all those berries. But yeah, so I'm just living here, um, berry to berry and apple to apple every time I find one. Oh, oh that was a shot. Haha, <laughs> gotcha, chicky. And uh, so I think what we're going to do is just call it quits for now. And let me know if you guys want to see more of this. Um, it really needs to get back into the oven or stay in the oven a little longer and, um, and, uh, and, and cook some more because it's just... There's just not enough here to do, really. I can't recommend... Well, I'm sliding to the right. Can't really recommend spending any money on it right now. That's not to say it's not going to be a, a decent product when it's completed, but for right now, it's just very, very... <laughs> very, very little here to do. That thing is still alive! I better put him out of his misery, poor little chicken. Wham! No, he's not. Well, it's still twitching. Um, you know what? Just pick it up, then. Pick it up and chop it up. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe... Oh, I wonder if I can tame him now. He's injured. Can't be domesticated. Oh! Oh, I'm so glad I didn't slice him up or <laughs> put him out of his misery. <laughs> so that's how you domesticate chickens. That's how you make friends with chickens, folks. First, you shoot them with an arrow. Then you bring them home, put them in a cage, and they'll lay eggs for you. Awesome. Okay. Well, who knew? All right, yeah, so as I was saying, we're going to give this one probably a little more time to stew. And we'll come back and check it out. I'll keep playing this particular playthrough and see if we can't get these AI characters to show up. Because I'm very, very interested in meeting them. So I think with that, we'll call it quits. Hope you all enjoyed. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Oh, chicken. Let's see if I can injure this guy. Oh, he's on the run. He's on the run.